Sky here with another video. This video, we're gonna have a tour pack. I'm gonna two tone with two color pinstripes. I'm gonna be doing this job backwards as well. As you've seen some of my other videos, I show you how to do the pinstripes first. Well, I'm gonna be doing that on this one too. So basically a gold and orange red stripe. Uh, you can see I've done a couple tests right there. I'll take some lacquer thinner and wipe those off, no big deal. So I just uh, fingered them on there just to uh, see how close they were. And then we got ember red sun glow. That is a tri-stage. It's kind of like a light red metallic and then coated with the candy red. And then we have Merlot, which is black coated with the Merlot sun glow color, which is also a tri-stage candy color. So this is what we're going to do. I have no idea what's wrong with the original tour pack, but I'm going to go ahead and paint it anyway. So the plan of attack would be to do the gold stripe first. And then I'm going to stripe that 16th inch, and then I'm going to do the orange red stripe. Put an eighth inch on that. Make sure I use the 16th inch guide in between those so I get the distance in between those stripes real accurate. And then I'm gonna do the black, the Merlot, and then I'm gonna do the Ember Red Sun Glow. And pull all the tape off, only two pieces of tape. Plus I'll have to mask this area off for the Merlot, but that's no big deal. And once I get that Merlot area done, I'll pull the paper off only. I'll still have the pinstripes covered. And then uh, once I spray the Ember Red Sun Glow, I'll pull those two pinstripes off. And presto, that's all the taping I have to do to this. So what I'm gonna do is take a bunch of segments here and we're going to, uh, you know, I appreciate you following along and you'll get a better understanding how this works. So on this particular job, this is a brand new tour pack, so it's already uh, primed, it's scuffed, it's good to go. I'm not even gonna seal it. I'm doing the gold first because the orange-red pinstripe will cover the gold uh, really nice rather than burst, uh, vice versa. So follow along, appreciate it. Tape, 16th inch, and the guide tape. The guide tape help ensures a 16th inch in between the two stripes. Okay, we're in the booth right now. I got three of the four colors all done. Like I said earlier, I did the gold stripe first, then the orange red colored stripe. And then I did the Merlot section, which is black, and then that's coated with uh, the Merlot Sun Glow. Anytime you hear the word Sun Glow from uh, Harley Davidson, it's basically a candy. So all Sun Glow colors are tri stages. So that's just their terminology for a candy color. So, and I do have the base coat of the fourth color, which is the Ember Red Sun Glow. So that's the base of Ember Red Sun Glow. So it's just, a, like I said, a brighter red. I'm waiting for the uh, mid coat, which should be here any time. I should have this done today. I have about an hour and 15 minutes into all three of these colors and the uh, base coat to the Ember Red Sun Glow. So coming along. Uh, also, if you uh, are doing these jobs for customers, you should always ask for a piece that you can use as a, uh, a sample to color match. Like uh, they gave me the tour pack bottom. One thing to mention on this job, I'm not doing the tour pack lid, so I gotta get this ember red real close. So I don't know what's wrong with the other bag. I didn't see anything wrong with it, but uh, um, they told me to paint it, so I'm painting it. So uh, always make sure you get a side cover or a small front fender or a lid or something like that that you can use as a, a sample match for not only the pinstripes, but the other base coats. You know, if you have two base coat colors, you know, you can use it for both those. 
So anyways, we're getting close, waiting for the mid coat. So I'm gonna cut out and I'll be back. I should have this completely done today. Okay, I just got the candy in, the mid coat in. I got that sprayed, so here's the moment of truth. So I'll be taking off all these colors here. You wanna be careful when you're pulling the tape. So here is the gold that we did. Somewhere along here. You want to pull this way. You don't want to pull out or this way. You want to pull this way. This cuts the paint. So try to follow the stripe. That. Here comes the orange. And we'll take this tape off. This is over the Merlot color. And there we have it. So all four colors. So not too bad of a job. I've probably got an hour and a half, I would say, in all four colors. Oop, I got a little blow through right there. You gotta really watch that. So I'm gonna have to, sometimes you can get away with just taking some 15 and sanding that. Make sure you put a piece of tape there. Sometimes you get dust and some color, so I'll have to re-black that and re merlot that, or I'll try sanding it first though. So I'm gonna clear coat it, I'll do another clip here, showing you what it looks like with some clear coat on it. So it's coming out real good. So hopefully this video helps you doing these stripes first. So appreciate you guys watching. Just finished this tour pack, clear coating it. I think it came out real good. So we got the Ember Red and the Merlot. Separated by two pinstripes, the gold and the orange red color. I think it came out real good, a little wet sand and buffing. So I did mention earlier that it's, a, it's nice to have a part on hand. So make sure the customer gives that to you. And also make sure that it's an original OEM paint job on there. So you don't want some part that somebody else has painted and the color's off. I've had that happen before. It does absolutely no good. It has to be the original paint job. And also try to get a part that's close to what you're actually painting. It would have been nice to have the actual tour pack lid. They brought me the tour pack lower, which weighs about 20 pounds because it was fully loaded. They never took it apart. So it's always nice to have something uh, that has the original paint on there. You have to have the original paint on there. It does no good. So I hope this video helps you out. Uh, you learned something along the way. I mean, to do four colors and probably about an uh, hour and 45 minutes tops. So I think it came out real good. That includes two tri-stage paints. So it came out real good. Appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up for this video, please, and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Thank you.